Today, I just want to uh, mention that we will be making some forward-looking statements and, uh, of course, our audience alert them to the risks in uh, junior mining, uh, which are many, which can be resource, reserve, metallurgical risks. But to mitigate those risks and to participate in what can be great returns, um, you want to deal with experience management team. And uh, really in uh, Mexico and in, in Gold Gold, we have the uh, benefit of um, 28 years of uh, doing this. And on the screen in, in front of you would be the four companies I've been involved in that I've led over the last uh, 28 years. And uh, they've all been focused in Mexico. I mean, we're really Mexico focused country. Uh, we enjoy working there. We have good re business relationships. The uh, government relationships have been very good for us and it's a very favorable um, country for, for mining. Now the capital structure of Gold Gold, we're about 50% institutionally held. Uh, some of the larger institutions in our space are significant shareholders of the company. We have 277 million shares outstanding, $73 million of uh, US of cash in the bank, no debt. And we're about 20% insider held. And I would be the uh, second largest shareholder of the company as CEO. Now, as far as our, our focus, again, it's, it's Mexico. And uh, I've been the CEO here for the last six years. I've been involved as an investor since the beginning of the company about uh, a decade ago. But what we focused on the last six years have been um, kind of our business model. We deal a lot with private families and look for off the radar assets in Mexico. And we've been quite successful in finding those. Uh, for example, one was um, Santa Gratuitous. We acquired that in 2014 uh, for $9 million. We spent $11 million over the next three years drilling off a resource and completing a pre-feasibility, or uh, sorry, a PEA. We then sold that to Ignico Eagle, uh, one of the premier major mining companies in the industry. They paid us $80 million US for that, plus a royalty, which we then monetized uh, with Metallica royalties for another 15 million. Now, Peral is our operating mine. That's been operating now for seven years and it has another eight years of reserves remaining. And uh, Peral at this point and these commodity prices is actually fully funding the company with about $2 million US of free cash flow a month. And then we have Los Ricos. Now Los Ricos is the real driver of the company right now. That's our exploration development asset in Jalisco. But uh, again, Mexico is um, the country that we focused our efforts over the last uh, 25 plus years. Sandra Gratutis sold to Ignico for 95 million. Uh, Ocampo, a project, um, one of our first projects in Mexico where we developed two mines. That was eventually after producing well over a million ounces, it was sold to uh, Carlos Slim for 750 million US. Then we have Peral, which is our operating mine in Gold Gold. The Orion project, uh, the, one of the team's efforts where we had a small discovery and we sold it to Capital Gold in 2010. We have the Alcubo mine, which we acquired from a private family for $20 million. We invested 45 million. Two years later, we sold it for 375 million. And then we have Los Ricos, the real driver right now of Gold Gold. Now, Los Ricos is uh, well located as far as infrastructure. It's an hour and 45 minutes outside of Guadalajara, the second largest city in Mexico. And uh, it really is a district. The map in front of you in the red are our concessions. That's um, 35 kilometers for scale. Now the project, we first entered the project in April, or sorry, March of 2019. And we entered the project with 29 concessions. We paid 7.4 million US for it. And uh, since then we've been drilling. Uh, we've completed now over 100,000 meters of drilling. And we focus first in what we call Los Rico South. And the reason being this, because we had all the concessions we needed there to put together a good drill program. And in Los Ricos North, we we're still missing some key concessions which we have uh, since consolidated. And uh, in fact, 
last summer we launched a 100,000 meter drill program in Los Ricos North. But in Los Ricos South, we first focused on a zone called the main zone, where we completed 45,000 meters in the main zone. We defined a resource of 63 million ounces of M&I, silver equivalent, and another 20 million ounces of inferred on top of that. We then, within the first 22 months of acquiring the project, we took that to a preliminary economic assessment, which defined a project at $21 silver and $15.50 gold of $295 million of net present value at a 5% discount. And that's planned to be a mill of 5,000 tons a day and have a 11 year mine life currently, and $125 million build. Now we're advancing this to pre-feasibility right now, and we plan to, by the end of the year or early next year, we'll have a pre-feasibility study. And we hope that by next summer or late next year, we'll be in the position to make a construction decision. And if you look at the economics of this, closer to the current commodity prices, uh, silver $24 and gold at 1800, it has over a $400 million net present value. But the real excitement and the real driver right now is Las Ricos North. And Las Ricos North, this part of the project, as I mentioned, we uh, had to wait until we got a few more concessions up there and we were able to do that last summer with some more deals. And once we had those, we launched a 100,000 meter drill program. We're drilling with nine drill rigs up there right now. Now, Los Ricos North, we view that as the biggest part of the mineralized system here. And really our drilling over the last 12 months has really kind of shown that. And it's all leading towards the next big catalyst for us, which is a uh, first resource in Los Ricos North, which we're anticipating by the end of September or um, uh, around the end of September or October, we should have that first resource. And it's, it's focused really on four zones, which are El Favor, El Arito, Casados, and La Trini. And in El Favor, which is really part of a trend that's uh, about four kilometers now, um, we are drilling here with six drill rigs between El Arito and El Favor. And really we've um, shown some re remarkable uh, drill intercepts over uh, over a kilometer of strike length in El Favor. And there's a point I'd like to make here. If we wanted to market the company um, as a narrow high grade uh, silver project, we could easily do that. Because most of our intercepts, we, we do show the very high grade core. And in fact, um, usually we will have a plus kilo in pretty much every press release, and we're releasing uh, results pretty much every week to week uh, to uh, two weeks. For example, we have zones here of 52 meters of 300 grams, but within that we have five meters of two and a half kilos. And we see that over and over again. Uh, but of course, we wouldn't market it as uh, just a very high grade silver project because we're fortunate that it's enveloped in a much broader good grade uh, zones that are could be amenable to bulk mining. So that's a big advantage for the Las Ricos district as we move forward. Now, when you're looking at El Favor, then we, if we go along strike to the west, we have our zone called El Arito. And in El Arito, it's kind of the oddball because everything else in the district is um, silver gold, but here in uh, El Arito, it's silver base metals. We think it's a much deeper rooted part of the system and um, therefore we're seeing the uh, base metals, but still very wide zones and uh, very good grades. Um, we're, we're seeing things like, um, like here you can see the sulfides and uh, drill holes such as up to 43 meters of 322 grams silver equivalent. But we also see within there the uh, much uh, narrower portions 
where we do see the kilos of silver equivalent as well. And then just to the north of that, we have our Casado zone. And this was actually mined about 100 years ago, narrow vein and um, narrow vein mining. So we went in there and started drilling and be the first drill holes that were ever put into Casados. And what we saw was a, a bit of a surprise. We drilled the first hole and we intercepted their old workings, which were a meter and a half wide. And so they were gone, but in the Casados one vein, we still saw 22 meters of 121 grams. But then we intercepted what they didn't know about, which was another complete other vein in the foot wall, which they did not discover, and intercepted 27 meters at 250 grams. And that included, because it's fully intact, there was uh, 1.3 meters of 2.7 kilos. So Los Ricos North offers both. Again, it offers the very high grade kilo intercepts, but really even better than that, we have the advantage that they're enveloped in wider zones of good and moderate grade, which makes this more amenable to uh, bulk mining, both open pit and underground. Now, I'd also like to uh, touch for a moment on our um, production. We have the um, Pearl Tailings Project, which we've been operating now for seven years. As far as uh, ESG, really Peral is the kind of the poster child for ESG. Here you're looking at environmental, we're cleaning up old tailings that are up to 300 years old that sit right in the city of Peral. We transport those 14 kilometers outside of Peral to our agglomerated heap leach. And we've developed new technology here. Now it's agglomerated heap leaching and you'll say, well, that's not new technology, but as far as I'm aware, we are really the first ones in the world, at least at this scale, who have applied it to tailings. And why did we do that? Because for $45 million of capital, we built an operation that processes five to 6,000 tons a day. And at a very low OPEX, where we're able to generate all in sustaining costs of $15 an ounce silver equivalent. So again, Peral at these commodity prices, it's generating in excess of uh, $2 million US free cash flow a month, which is paying for all that drilling, paying for our GNA. And on top of that, we have our 73 million US cash in the bank. So Peral is, um, the other things it's doing for the community is we pay the community $75,000 a month uh, fee and that represents about 15 to 20% of their municipal budget. So really a, a very, very strong ESG project and, um, and a, a great project for making uh, profit for uh, Go Gold. So really Go Gold's a company that's um, based on good community relations. It's based on um, having a good uh, social license which is really necessary in this environment to build mines. And, you know, always the question is asked of me that, um, well, you have Los Ricos. It's really a district that's demonstrating uh, by size, grade, uh, opportunity to bulk mine, that this is something that really the major mining companies might be interested in. Uh, could fit very well into one of their pipelines. But my answer to that is, we control what we can control. And by that, I mean, we control doing good technical work, doing, uh, carrying out good uh, drill programs, uh, advancing the engineering towards building mines. And that's what we're focused on. We're focused on um, getting to that point where we make the construction decisions, we build the next mine, we add more free cash flow, more earnings to our company. But when you're focused on that, a lot of the times, that's when the best offers can come. So we never uh, put a for sale sign on the company. We just focus on the job that's in front of us. And um, of course, we have to go out there and tell our story. We got to market all the good things that the uh, team is doing in Go Gold. And that has really um, got us the interest and the um, participation of a lot of the biggest institutions in our sector. Um, we're very fortunate this week, uh, we're being added to the GDX, 
So that's a uh, major mining index in our uh, space, uh, silver and gold. So that has added to our liquidity. Uh, we're a stock that um, strong balance sheet, experienced team, and uh, able to finance projects and participation from the institutions. So I think all those things put together uh, limit the risk in what is really uh, can be a risky sector, junior mining. But again, team, balance sheet, experience, and country. <laughs>